I'm here with Carly Hello. from Banya. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Um, and look, I'm pretty relaxed, pretty chilled out. I've been here bathing in these pools, using the sauna, the steam rooms, and yeah, apologise if I'm speaking a bit slowly, but I am really super <laughs> chilled out. Um, tell us more about the Banya. Okay. Uh, well, we're officially now, you know, second month. Yeah. So we just clicked over. Um, second month of trade, fifth year of planning and dreaming. Wow. So the Banya um, owned by a local called Brendan, Brendan Lawless. Yeah. Um, he's a publican in his sort of career. He's got the middle pub across here, um, as well as a couple of pubs in Brisbane. And kind of that's been his um, career path you know, for the last 20 years or so. Um, he, you know, has a bit of a, an affliction for beautiful old things, cars, buildings, um, furniture, art. And so I think when he saw this building, which is an old, almost heritage listed bank yeah. from 1929, um, he sort of scooped up the opportunity to, you know, renovate it and kind of bring it back to its former glory. So then the bathhouse kind of is a bit of a dream that he's had from um, his travels around U Europe, specifically yes. Russia. Yeah. Um, I should say Northern Europe and Russia. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where he's, you know, experienced so many bathhouses and the styling there is very much go, enjoy, stay, have a cleansing ale, eat a bunch of fresh food, yeah. socialize. Yeah. Um, and so he kind of was of the thought, why can't that work here? And so, you know, this building became that kind of dream for him. So, by a cut two, five years of building and um, designing and getting it to the point where we have this kick-ass team, and yeah. now we're open. It's amazing, though, like, coming here and having this experience. It's, and especially in Malambimbi, at all yeah, places, like, I you know. just wouldn't expect it. I know. And that goes to answer my question of why did he create it. So it yeah. sounds like more from his travels. It was inspired from that. Yeah, definitely um, from travels and just I guess from the way it made him feel yeah. uh, um, when he was in those venues. Same as probably how you feel now. Yeah. yeah. Um, although you know, with a cleansing ale, maybe instead of a decaf coffee. I was going to say decaf coffee you sort of. <laughs> yeah. Goes with it. Um, so I think that he kind of was just, you know, a spa kind of enthusiast, yeah. and that's definitely. I can relate to that. That's why I was so drawn to this role as well. Yeah, um, and yeah, so he kind of has the, had the means and the dream and thought, why not? And why did you choose Mullumbundi out of all places to set this up? Um, well, Brendan's from Sydney, yeah. but he's been living up here for years and years now. Yeah. Um, and I think that uh, the opportunity here regarding, you know, this is where he lives. Yeah. He's um, got his main business here. Yeah. Um, he also owns Kiva Day Spa. Oh, which, okay. yeah, awesome. which was acquired a few years ago, um, and you know gave him a bit of a insight into how much sort of um, how popular it is for people to come and soak and have massages, yeah. um, and so kind of although we're completely different to Kiva styling and vibe wise, yeah. um, he kind of had experience and he knew that it could work, mm -hmm. so I think that's kind of why. Okay. Yeah. And, and why did you guys choose to incorporate an element of like dining as well? Because the restaurant over here looks amazing. Yes. And the food that you offer, why did you choose to incorporate that with um, the spa element? Well, I guess that's from his travels. You yeah, know, that's, okay. that's the way kind of um, you would experience bathhouses across Europe. Yeah. Where they have a bar inside of them where you're able to, you know, sip a Prosecco or get something light to eat. Yeah. Um, so it also kind of speaks to the social aspect of the business as well yeah. um, you know not only is it just bathing and wellness yeah. it's, it's got a huge emphasis on being social catching up with friends yeah. I always say that there's no real rules here yeah, yeah, yeah. besides no glass by the pool <laughs> <laughs> no um, drinking in the pools right <laughs> right but there's no real rules you know yeah. you can giggle and laugh with your friends and yeah. it can be a bit flirty and yeah. it's yeah it's a lot more of an environment where you can you know, have that experience. So food and beverage just goes hand in hand with that. Yeah, awesome. Um, and also just physically, after you've sweat and plunged and sweat and plunged and, you know, you've kind of gone through this full-on metabolic 
Yeah. Like it's And it is a proper metabolic, like those pools are proper cold as well. Yeah. Which I love. Yes, it's Because going so from good. that steam room, that's a proper so steam room. So hot. Like literally, I laid down there before, I like drifted off, and then I was like, how am I going to get out of here? You know, like yeah. the walkout was hard. Yeah. But then straight into that cold plunge, man, yeah. it feels so good after it. Yeah, and then you get starving. You do, I'm hungry now. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Coffee's you know. So, um, and we've got the space, you know, yeah. to kind of, I guess, be able to offer that, you know? Um, so it was, yeah, again, a why notness. I think, I think what's awesome about it as well is when you come here, it's different to other sort of bath houses where you say if you come and enjoy you know what it has to offer but having that dining means you can really relax here because yeah. i feel like when i came here last time you can spend an hour and a half out there easily yeah. and another hour or more in the restaurant absolutely so you can be here for three or four hours quite comfortably and then tack on a massage and it's yeah, like i was gonna a say full <laughs> it's a full day, day. <laughs> yeah and that's what we try and encourage yeah. because there's so many spaces like yeah. there's this beautiful room there's our dining room we've got the sun lounge yeah tell us more about what you offer here so we've got the magnesium baths yeah and, and yeah tell us more okay well the facilities um, of the bathhouse are the magnesium baths like you've said we've got yeah. a longer pool um, which is kind of ambient yeah and we have the two hot pools and then the third down the end which is our cold plunge love the cold plunge, love so the cold plunge. Good. we actually have a custom one coming but again, like everything with this build, it's all you know custom. custom it's taken mate. time. It's, it's done properly. So sure. we'll have a, you know another separate ice, um, a separate ice bath that will be operational. So these three pools down here will so end up be just warm. Wow. Yeah. So it's just separate. So you kind of use it, and then there'll be more space for the warmth. Yeah, we're good. Which come winter, I think, people will value. Yeah, we're good. Um, so then, of course, we've got our two saunas: the yeah. wet sauna, steam room and then our beautiful wood fire sauna, yeah, as well as um, the Banya Buckets, which is uh, another buckets. nod to <laughs> Northern Europe. Yeah, so just like washing off all your sweat with a cold bucket before going back so into the pool. So much water comes out of that when you pull it as well. I know, well. It's, like... it's shocking. <laughs> it's really fun. Um, so that's the bathhouse side of things, and then, you know, we've obviously got the room we're sitting in now, which yeah. I call the wet bottom room, yeah. or the green room. Yeah. Um, yeah. And this is where, like, we've got ladies behind us here sitting in their swimwear, wrapped in a towel, drinking a smoothie it. like it's just so nice Love to be it. able to come out of the elements and be in your swimwear yeah um, we've got Prosecco on the table behind us we've got to have a fireplace that's um, operational come winter so yeah. you'll be able to be in your swimwear and not be too cold I was gonna say like I was saying this to Camille earlier on being out here when it's raining in winter when it's cold yeah it's gonna be cold and then you have a nice warm you know like hop in yeah. the steam room but then sit by the fire and have a meal stunning it'd be so special right? yeah so special. Yeah, well, and then the fireplace goes through to the other room, yeah, which good. is also our dining room. And then there's upstairs where we have five bespoke treatment rooms. Awesome. We offer massage. Um, and then we've got our day beds and sun lounges and umbrellas and things out there where you can also order food and beverage and stay up there, read a magazine and stay. Awesome. Yeah. Um, who are you finding uh, your main clientele at the moment? Are sure. your locals or people coming in or? Um, Kind of everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm shocked at how varied the age groups are. Yes. From, you know, younger, because it's an 18 plus venue. Yeah. So from this younger end of that scale all the way through to, you know, 80 year old couples. Where they're coming to enjoy it. It's so nice. It's so cool. Um, obviously, it's predominantly female. Yeah. Like, so many girls love catching up here and having a day out or bringing themselves for a work day, bringing their laptops, something I'm noticing a lot. Um, and then, you know, but then we also get lots of blokes coming with their partners or, um, you know, we've had a, bo a box here, yeah, the, start yeah. of, the start of a box, I want to be clear. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Which was really nice. Yeah. And so we definitely get groups of guys as well. So I'm going to say everyone. everyone. But I guess predominantly, yeah, ladies, my age group. Kind of are our predominant client here. Yeah. Okay, nice. Well, um, where can where can people find the Banya? Yeah. Where are you guys located, location-wise, and then also online? Yep. So the main street of Mullum, which yep. is where we are, Barring Bar Street. You'll see a big double facade brick building. You can't <laughs> you miss, miss it. You won't miss it. You won't miss it at all. Um, somehow people still do. Um, and then also on our website, there's like a full service list and um, ways to book. So that's at thebanya.com.au and our Insta, thebanya underscore Mullenbimby. Awesome. Yep. Well, thanks for your time. Thank